if I had to pick a couple guys that I really love in this class, number one is quarterback Nikosi Perry. I've talked about him many times on these videos and also on the website. Six foot four, 180 pounds from Ocala Vanguard High School. Record setting quarterback broke all the records that were previously set by Dante Culpepper. Dual threat guy who can run and he can throw. Uh, I finally reve revealed my comparison for him, which is Marcus Mariota. If you go on the website and look at the uh, recruiting notebooks, I have a scouting report basically profiling all of the signees in this class. And in this, I got our resident coach to make a video comparing Nikosi Perry and Marcus Mariota. And I brought in like three or four other people because I understand that making a comparison of that level can be hyperbolic or, you know, outrageous. And it's like, well, you're just a fan. you wouldn't. So I brought in as many other people as I could to talk about this on the strengths and weaknesses, the points of comparison, the points of dissension for that. And I really stand by that comparison. Um, I think he's a special player. I think he can come in and start day one. Uh, he has all the tools to run um, RPO system that Mark Rick wants to do, including some zone read and read option where the quarterback pulls it and keeps the ball, which we know that Brad Kaya did not do. So at the top of my list is Nikosi Perry. Cam, I'm going to make a distinction that I think you'll agree with because we've talked about this before. When you compare Nikosi Perry to Marcus Mariota, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a talent comparison. And that's maybe even a comparison of how he's going to develop. That's not a comparison of what the results are going to be. It's a team game. And Marcus Mariota had the, the help of 10 other players to win a Heisman Trophy and to get to a national championship game and win conference titles. That's a team game. That's the result of 11 guys working together or 22 on both sides of the ball, plus obviously all the depth involved. So that's not necessarily a projection on what he's going to accomplish. That's a, a talent comparison, I believe. I mean, it's talent and it's style and it's skill. So obviously the results may differ. Uh, and again, this is something that I dove into and I had Justin Dottavio, our X's and O's guy, and a couple other coaches. If you That's the recruit notebook that was the most substantive because making that comparison, I knew that I couldn't just say, hey, I think he's uh, Marcus Mariota and keep it moving. There had to be content there. There had to be depth. And I wanted to bring in other experts in this area to really say, and some people, you know, they, they agreed with me on a couple of points and said, I disagree with you on this comparison on some more points. So I'm not saying it's infallible. I'm not saying it's, you know, without contention because I brought in enough people, I think, to make this point in a good way. So I know that just putting the name Marcus Mariota out there, okay, he's a Heisman Trophy winner. He's at Oregon. They got to the national championship game. Da, 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 da. All of a sudden you think he's going to, Nikosi Perry is going to be the exact same. He might not fulfill his potential to this level. He might, you know, not be able to read the defenses here. He might not get a red shirt year like Nicole, or like Marcus Mariota did before he was able to start at Oregon because he only did two years starting because he redshirted as a true freshman. So the path and progression might not be exactly the same, but there's a lot of things there on style and technique and also high school level performance that align Nikosi Perry and Marcus Mariota very well. And I really urge you, stateofyou.com, look up the 2017 recruit notebook for Nikosi Perry. You cannot miss it. It's still up there on the website. I'm going to pin it to the front page. Go click on it, read it, watch the video, and see if you agree or not. Yeah, and again, I, I make my distinction because I think quarterbacks get married to results too much. Nikosi Perry could actually turn out to be just as good as Marcus Mariota, but because of the ensemble around him and just factors not within his control, the results aren't going to necessarily be the same. Yeah, and well, I'm, I'm just going to jump right back in. Sorry to cut you off, but if to make that point, look at Brad Kaya in his time here. Almost 10,000 yards passing, the second most touchdowns in Miami Hurricanes history. All these other stats, most completions, most attempts, highest – or most 300-yard games, most 200-yard games. You go through and all these statistics, but if you look at the win-loss record, everybody says, okay, well, he never won the game. Wins are not a quarterback stat, which is just what you're talking about. If you look at the performance, Brad Kaya was a top-tier college quarterback. I don't care. I get the aesthetic of if he threw for 400 yards and three touchdowns at Florida State his sophomore year, but you lost, that means he's not good. No, it does not. It means he had a fun, fantastic performance but the team came up short. Does that weigh on him slightly? Obviously, because he's out there making plays, but it's not entirely on him. What about the defense? What about the turnovers by 
you know, a running back fumble in the open field? What about us not getting a fumble, not getting a, a, a holding call again? You know, these other things factor in also as well. So, you know, and I use Brad Kaya to showcase that, you know, you can have all of these statistics and things that you can compare to all kinds of greats. And if you look at the history of the quarterback position at the University of Miami, he sits atop everybody. And that's over Hall of Famers, Heisman Trophy winners, Davey O'Brien winners. All those come after Brad Kaya, and he did not get any of those accolades because the team wasn't necessarily the strongest when he was here. So that, again, just like we're talking about, could be similar with, the comparison to Nicosi Perry to Marcus Mariota, but for my mental health and sanity, I hope that the win-loss uh, record is of a requisite level that makes us think of those two for more reasons than just statistics. Very well stated. So I'm just emphasizing the point because it seems like everybody out there in social media just makes evaluation of quarterbacks to say, whether it's at the collegiate level and especially at the NFL level, how many Super Bowls did he win? How many championships did he win? And that's the end of the conversation. And he's better than him because he won three championships and he won one or whatever it is. And that's the end of it. And like you say, this is the ultimate team game. It's a crazy end of discussion. Should it be part of the discussion? Of course, not the total discussion.